Welcome to Cabin Online Radio with me, Patsy. Patsy's Pick and Mix. Welcome to Patsy's Pick and Mix on Cabin Online Radio. Went over to Milltown where the Indoor Bowls County Final was on and this is what I recorded over there. As I sit and dream in Boston Beneath that starry sky Memories come crowding on The time I was a boy Ah, barefoot, happy lad I trod The whitewashed streets of home A carefree lad with friends galore I was a fool to go Now I'm coming back to Milltown In a week I will be there Back with the folks I love so well My dear old darling share I love the friendly neighbors And I drink with all the boys I want to see the sadness my dear mother's eyes My mother, she had raised me On her own since I was three And it nearly broke her kindly heart When I went across the sea Ah, but I was young in those far-off days All I wanted was to roam And I didn't mind the heartbreak I caused the folks back home Now I'm coming back to Milltown In a week I will be there Back with the folks I love so well In my dear old garden chair I love the friendly neighbors And I drink with all the boys I want to see the sadness Leave my dear mother's eyes Near Cavan there's a beauty her name it is Eileen And I know that she is waiting there for me So no more I go a-roaming In the town I will stay And I wet my dark hair beauty right away Now I'm coming back to Milltown In a week I will be there Folks I love so well in my dear old car and chair. I love the friendly neighbors and I drink with all the boys. I want to see the sadness in my dear mother's eyes. I'm coming back to Milltown in a week I will be there. Back with the folks I love so well in my favorite car and chair. I love the friendly neighbors and I drink with all the your name is James Mooney. James, and what you, are you in charge of this? Or what's the well, story? I'm not in charge, Patsy. I'm the PRO of the Cavan Indoor Bowling League. So, yeah. any situations like this, I'd be thrown thrown to the forefront. Yeah, this is Milltown Drum Lane, Milltown. Milltown, we are here tonight. Yeah. yeah. We're in the community centre here. Mm, in the community centre, we're playing the County Cavan uh, League singles and bowls uh, quarterfinals, semifinals and finals tonight. So we'll have a Cavan County champion singles and we'll have a Cavan County champion pairs. So it's an eventful night and we look forward to it every year. And this is the fourth year in succession that it's oh, taken place. the fourth year? It's mm, been maybe five, been. four anyway, yes. How come we haven't heard of it before now? Well, it is quite popular in the, the county as such, uh, you know. Yeah. Drum has a good membership, Milltown has a good membership, but Beltorbert, Kilishandra, um, Bal- uh, Bally James Duff, there's loads of different clubs that partake in the league, uh, Virginia. So it's quite popular. Yeah, there's and just, just an outdoor... There's a new outdoor uh, arena after being built up there at the swimming pool. And Ronnie Riley... He's the chairman of the association and he was at the forefront of getting the funding and he was the drive in the development of the outdoor bowling green up at the swimming pool. So we're very grateful to him as such. Yeah, he's done a good job. Mm, very much so, yeah. yeah. And t- tonight now, how many t- teams is in this one? Well, tonight, like we have 
quarterfinals, so we have four sets of pairs. And Are they from different clubs or from the one club? I know, uh, actually, Drung mm. is quite well represented tonight, that a lot of players from Drung are participating in the pairs and the singles. And we have uh, players from Middletown here tonight too, but with probably the two of the stronger clubs in the county. And that's probably why them players got to where they are tonight yeah. and such, you know. So how long will it go on for? How many, you know, game, I mean, is there so many... What's well, the uh, well, the, situa- it's the first time I've been. Okay. You know, okay. Well, tell well, us about well, what's taking place scoring. tonight. Is what you've seen out there was the quarterfinals of the singles. Yeah. Now, I was second in the quarterfinal. Tom Brady from Milltown has beaten me quite well in the the opening matches. So she's now into the semi final, and he's playing uh, a young Natasha Nulty. Now, Natasha Nulty is one of the younger players in our club, and she's up and coming. She represents. Uh, the Monaghan Zone ladies and she's won um, an All-Ireland competition with them last year and she's actually also drum singles champion this year so you know probably whoever wins that match tonight could go on and win the county singles tonight but yeah. who knows who knows but the score and how just the score well the score and it's played over 10 ends oh it's 10 ends 10 ends yeah right each player has four bowls apiece in the singles and it's the player who gets their bowl or bowls nearest to the jack that yeah. scores. So if, to give an example, player A gets two bowls nearer than player B, well, player A scores two on the score score sheet as such. So after the ten ends, it's the player with the most points that wins the game. And but, if it, but if player A gets two bowls near the jack and player B gets one as close to the... Which do, does he get a score as no, well? No, 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 no. It's, it's, just, it, it's a measurement. It's, uh, it, it goes down to very fine management, measurement within mills. It, oh, it can yeah. be measured within mills. And, oh. You know, it can, a player can score one point, two point, three point, four points in a game of singles in each end as such. It's quite possible, you know. So, it, oh, it's very interesting. Well, no, it's you, not, no, it is. For many people that haven't tried it, they think it's sort of... A game associated with older people, but as you see there tonight, there's quite a few young people taking yeah, part. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I was, like, coming, when I was driving over here. I was thinking, mm. I'm going to be seeing a lot of older generations. Yeah, the people that I see that has talked to it quite well is people that's you know played golf or yeah. people that have played a lot of football or sporting in some sense tend to be you know reasonably good at the yeah. game and can take to it quite well and be good very early on in their career as such. So it's a game for everybody. It's a game for, you can play it for fun. You can yeah. go to your local club on a practice night and just have a friendly game with a friend or a colleague. And like this tonight... Then you can get serious. You can get serious. You can, you can go out seven nights a week bowling. There's a tournament all around the country seven nights a week if you want to take it that far. Let's and uh, seven nights a an week. Irish team, and that Irish team would play international now. Um where they stand internationally, I'm not sure, but it goes to that level mm. as an international game also as such, you know, indoor and outdoor. The outdoor, we probably see it on television. It's the long-range game. We play the short mat version because it's quite adaptable to all uh, local halls, halls yeah. and community centres as such, you know, but it is a, a world sport as well. There is a is that a special mat now? It's a special mat. It's approximately 45 feet long, 6 foot wide, it's made of white green carpet. It's uh, specially put together by the carpet and companies, and you know the bowls are designed. Is it hard wearing. Ah, oh, it is. You know, a bowling mat, if looked after, would do a long number of years in a club if it yeah. was cared for as such. You know. Now I'm going to ask a daft question. Now, don't shoot me. There's nothing daft. No. <laughs> I see lads changing shoes out there. What's the story on that? Well, the story with the shoes is, you know, regulation. One must wear a shoe that has a very fine, uh, smooth sole that you can't bring any dirt or grit onto the mat. It's especially oh, adapted sole, yeah. like so, as such. Oh, no. Yeah, so, so there's no... Yeah, it's like, you know, if yeah. you play football, you have football boots. boots if you play yeah. bowls, you have bowling shoes. If you play golf, you have yeah, golfing golf. shoes. That's yeah. it. So mm. it's pretty good. Well, I think that we've covered most of it anyway. Yeah, indeed, Matthew. Yeah, yeah thanks for well, taking thanks the time. For, yeah. And you can introduce me to some of the people out there. Yeah, by all means. And, you know, it's like everything else. If anybody's interested in taking up the sport, you know, 
We have a Facebook page, Cavan Indoor Bowls, um, and Ronnie Riley. He's at the very well known at the bus station. He's the chairman of the association, and indeed myself, uh, James Mooney, PRO zero eight six eight nine eight six two one five. Anybody looking for information or help? And they're recently out in Mojibon, Gallon Ray. I see them advertising bowls, so they're, they're starting out on the far side of Kutil, which is great to see. It's good to see, yeah, yeah. By all, yeah, by all means. And yeah. you have a Facebook page. We have a Cavan Indoor Bowls is the Facebook page as such. So we yeah, it's for the county, like for the county. From time to time, we put up zone information, any yeah. local tournaments that's taken place, and if somebody wins a competition, we post their photo on the Facebook page to uh, give them a bit of recognition as such. Well, right. thanks very much. Not at all. You're welcome. We'll talk again. Okay. Thanks, Patrick. Good man. Well, after that, I decided to chat to some young ladies that was playing bowls, and this is what they told me as well. So you were uh, playing bowls? Yeah, we won the ladies' triples in Monaghan this year. And what's your name? Uh, Aoife Coyle. Aoife Coyle, and you're? Natasha Nolte. And uh, what uh, championship, tell me? Um, in, Monaghan. in Monaghan, it's where our zone, where we, uh, Cavan and Monaghan teams are represented. Right. So we played a competition with also with uh, Aoife's mother, Mary, and uh, we got down to the final two, into the finals, and then we played the finals and we've won it. We came runners-up last year, but came winners this year. Ah, so you practised and practised and <laughs> won. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. 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 How long are you doing this now? About six years. You're yes. enjoying it. It's a good game, is it? Oh, yeah, yeah it is. Very good. So, but how did you do tonight? Now, oh, I was in the last last day in the single that I lost, Killian. You got oh. to the quarterfinals. Quarter I've final. got to. I got to the semi-finals and I got bet by Tom Brady. Who won? Who won? Yeah, so he, he went on to. He won. He went it. down to win. Yeah. Won it, yeah. 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 So you'd recommend it to any other young person around? Uh, yes, yeah. we would. Um, we're actually part of a junior team from our right. zone, so we play against all the other different zones like um, Armagh, Donegal, West, uh, West Down, Down, different places like that. We go with the team. Now, mostly, we're the only ones representing the Calvin teams, right. but the rest are from the Monaghan um, counties. And uh, so we go to, say, to Belfast for a day and compete in a competition. Now, we have done pretty well. We've come third overall in Ireland. That's good going. Yeah, and play ladies, ladies zone as well. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our second year doing our ladies, and last year we got as far as the plate final f- with the ladies. And we won mm. it. And we won it. We and won then, it. then this year, unfortunately, we didn't get as far. We were in the cup final this year, or a cup division this year, yeah. and we didn't get on. We got as far as the quarter qu- final. Quarter finals. Quarter, that's Detail. good going. Like. Mm. Because they wouldn't even reach anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what's on the cards now for the up and coming months? Or? Um, well, now the indoor bowls will be quitting for the summer, I think. And we've now, thanks to Ronnie, we've got the outdoor green. So we might yeah, try, try Ronnie, that for... Ronnie put up a good fight for an outdoor yeah. green for the county of Cavan. Yeah, it opened last year, didn't it? Last yeah. summer. Yeah, last so summer, last yeah. summer. I played on it a couple of times. It's up at the uh, swim pool. Swim, yeah. 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 There is junior zones on the 16th of April, is it? Yeah, we're playing another... Um, the last one of the year. Yeah, the last one of the year for the count, for Monaghan County. So that's up in, Be- in Belfast again, isn't it? Yeah. yeah and so. what about the bowls? Is the special weights, are they all wood or what's the story with the wood? It depends really on how you throw it. Yeah. Mm. And they're all wood, are they? And they're not plastic or... Um, I, don't know. I, don't, I don't know what they're made of, but... Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never even thought of that, bit. No, not really, no. All right, thank you very much. Thank Good you. to talk thank to you. you. And then I roamed around the hall and I found Killian Nulty and I chatted with him and this is what Killian had to say about bowling. You must be the youngest lad around here, Killian. Oh yeah, well I'm young and, enough. And how long have you been playing this game? And what made you take up bowling? Um, well I'm playing six years. Yeah. And probably because sure, my father plays right. and, and so does my sister. 
And have you won anything? Or? Yeah, I have. I have won a couple of competitions. 